Extraordinary started out with primitive, so the really kind of extreme texture. We knew we had to create something that was sort of like this micro to macro exaggerated feel. And knowing that we started with the really uh, kind of rugged wildness of primitive, we wanted to go all the way to the opposite end of the spectrum with a really low micro, almost flat texture. We wanted to create something that you wanted to touch. If you're a designer, when you look at a really good product, you'll find somewhere to use it instantly. We've seen a lot of really graphic pattern, a lot of bold, bright color, and we felt like it was really important to kind of look at a counter trend of that. We wanted to look at something that was a little more natural. It was very inspired by landscapes, and we felt like it really allowed people to reconnect to their spaces to kind of focus on all of their senses. On Extraordinary, I really tried to push the team to think differently about this collection. One day when they brought me a Grey Good off of the machine that wasn't sheared, we all sort of had a light bulb moment where we were like, that's it. It's kind of the extreme texture that we really want. You know, the end result that we wanted and the imagery that kind of drove that, this Nordic landscape. perspective to think about design is trying to harness all of the material, all of the waste that normally would be removed from the process into the design. We always seek out a completely different angle every time we start a new concept. It all goes back to, to that idea in the beginning of creating sort of a, a low-tech tactile experience that really is about human interaction. It's that innate need and feelings that you want to have to kind of remove yourself from all the overstimulation that is in your day. We made products like this to be touched and, and felt and draw people to the floor. It's all about the experience underfoot.